Hello everyone, today I'm going to build a simple income tax calculator. So what this program is going to consist of is it's going to prompt the user to enter a taxable income amount, then it'll display back the amount this user would pay in income tax, as well as the remaining ration they have on their income after the tax is applied. So to do this, I will be using the 2020 IRS federal income tax brackets. And I'm going to be operating under the assumption that the user is single, so I will not be factoring in married people because that's a whole other table. And I'm also not going to be factoring in deductibles or any other form of tax, like state income tax, stuff like that. So this is going to be very simple. Now, some of you might look at this table and understand exactly how the tax due computation works, but there's also this common misconception about income tax where people will think that just because someone is in the 24% tax bracket, then 24% of their income goes to the income tax. But that's not how it is computed. It's actually computed in a way where the first $9,875 of your income is taxed at 10% and then it grows from there. So the amount of your income that fits into the second bracket is taxed at 12% and it goes up from there to the third bracket until you reach your bracket wherein the remainder of your income that is not covered by the ranges under you is taxed at your tax brackets percentage. So in case there are people that still don't understand how the tax due computation works, I'd like to go through an example because I feel like this is a concept really worth hammering home. So if you feel like you're fine with the logic here, just skip to the code and, and you can skip my whiteboard lecture. Probably just skip a minute forward. So let's take an example where I suppose that my taxable income is $50,000. Well, that would mean that my range is in the third row, which is the 22% bracket. I'd like to explain where this $4,617.50 comes from, in case you don't quite see it. Well, the tax is computed in a way where the first $9,875 of your income is taxed at 10%, and then the amount of your income that fits into the second bracket is taxed at 12%, and the amount that fits into there is 40,126 minus 9,876. So that'll be taxed at 12%. If you simplify this, you'll get 987.5, which is where this number comes from. And then if you simplify this, you'll get 3,630 combined, that'll give you 4,000. 617 and 50 cents. That is how this number is computed. And now all that is left is 22% of the amount over 40,125. And that'll be determined by doing income minus 40,125, where the income is an income value between 40,126 and 85,525. In the example that I'm using, this is going to be 50,000. So if you do this calculation, you will get a total income tax of 6790 So hopefully that clarified how this income tax is computed. So now the first thing that I would like to do is get the taxable income amount from the user. So I'm going to ask the user to input a taxable income amount. And I'm going to convert that value into a float. So please enter your taxable income. And now I'm going to make a series of if-else statements wherein I cover all the ranges of the taxable incomes. So the first range is going to be 0 to $9,875. So if income less than or equal to $9,875. going to make a variable for the tax. The tax will equal the income times 0.10. And then I'm going to make an else if statement or an elif as it's referred to in Python syntax. If the income is less than or equal to 40,125, 
then the tax will be $987.50 plus the remainder of the income tax at 12%, and the remainder of the income is just going to be the income minus $9,875. So my next conditional is going to cover the people above 40,125 and less than 85,526. So their tax is going to be 4,617 and 50 cents plus 22% of the remaining income over 40,125. So I'm just going to repeat this for the remaining ranges. It's really just converting the information from that table into conditional statements. I'm going to make a variable called remainder, and that is going to be the income minus the tax, meaning what the person has left after this tax is applied. So I'm going to write a print statement that says you pay, and then whatever value is inside the tax variable in taxes, slash new line. And then my second print statement is going to say you have dollar sign remainder left. So let's, let's try this program out. Um, I'm going to run it with 35,000. And it says that this person would pay $4,002.50 in taxes. And then that's how much they have left. So looking at this output, I don't really like um, how it looks with the space between the dollar sign and, and the, the numeric value. So I'm going to just format this in a different way to make it more explicit that I don't want that space. I'm just going to change the wording in the first print statement to make it a little more precise. I'm just going to say instead of in, in taxes, I'm going to say an in income tax. And then this is the final execution of the program. Let's try it on uh, 70,000. And then those are the values. So yes, that concludes the program. Thank you for watching my video.